Greetings everyone, calling from Chicago to Lake Forest. I thought I'd change it up this time for our lessons. It's getting beautiful out and I figured let's have some lessons that can be done outside as well as inside. So here we go. As you know, we have an updated virtual gallery on YouTube. Well, as you can see, we've been hanging a lot of two-dimensional art, but we think something's missing. Yes, you guessed it, three-dimensional art. As you can see from Google search engines, our virtual gallery is definitely in need of some three-dimensional fabulousness. So this is where you come in. I knew you'd be excited. You will have three different options to choose from. I knew that would blow your mind. You can do one, two, or all three. Well, the first lesson is something that we should all have around the house. Aluminum foil. You're going to create a unique sculpture out of aluminum foil. Your first option is to create a figure that is moving. When you finish building your figure, you're going to attach it to construction paper and create a shadow. By creating a shadow, it should really bring the figure to life. Step one is you're going to choose your action. Step two is you're going to create a base or a frame. You can use an old wire hanger, you can use pipe cleaner, or you could just bundle up the aluminum foil. You're going to use masking tape and kind of create the torso by wrapping the tape around the wire sculpture. Now you're ready to wrap all of your sculpture in aluminum foil. You're going to continue wrapping it and crunching it up to give it thickness until you come to the desired effect. Then mount it onto your construction paper, add your shadow, and voila! Don't forget to share it with me on Schoology. I'd love to see it, and I really want it to go in our sculpture gallery. This lesson comes other options. You might want to paper mache your wire sculpture to really create a paintable surface. as unique and creative as you wish with all of your people, poses, and whatnot. People aren't your thing. Maybe you want to try animals. You could try prehistoric or even fantasy straight from your imagination. I mean, you don't want to get too crazy and scare your neighbors. Maybe you want to try something a little more <clears throat> appetizing. Something found in nature is always a breath of fresh air. If you're really enjoying working with the foil, you can always draw on the foil, create patterns, and add colors with crayons and markers. They're really beautiful. Now I know I mentioned three different lessons. This is just one of three. Try this one out and you'll see tomorrow I'll be posting the next lesson idea. You could try any or all or even something else. I just would love to hear that you're trying art.